Arizona Senator Jeff Flake announced today that he will not be running for re-election uh, next year in 2018. And this makes him the second Republican senator to announce they will not be seeking re-election um, since the start of Trump's tenure. Notably, in the past, he's had a tumultuous relationship with Trump before um, he became president. Noted that during the October 2016 Access Hollywood tape controversy, um, Flake actually called on Trump to drop out of the, the race due to his remarks and has since um, had his own rebukes. Now, I was pretty disappointed um, with Flake's choice because he's one of the few Republicans at this point that I can kind of say he's he's almost the reverse of um, what's what's his name uh, Manchin, whereas Manchin likes to side with the Republicans but call himself a Democrat. Flake occasionally sides with the Democrats but calls himself a Republican, as evidenced by the Gang of Eight um, bill from four years ago, which. You know, bravo to them for trying to reform the immigration system. It's too bad that it didn't pass. Um, the other thing I can distinctively recall relating to him is uh, his immigration stance isn't as, I don't want to say ridiculous, but um, I guess far right. It, it's His is more moderate um, than, than Trump, or really most of the other Republicans I can think of that have kind of a name recognition to where you would see who they are and go, oh man, I, I, I like slash don't like this person. And speaking of liking and dislike, I'm feeling a large sense of disappointment rooted in the fact that now with him being out, we, he's cleared the field for an open Republican primary um, in next year's uh, race in Arizona. And I think her name's Kelly Ward. She ran against McCain last year, lost to him in the primary, called on him to resign after his medical issues were reported. And I know very little of her positions um, because they weren't stated to me. I didn't follow that race all that much. I don't live in Arizona. But if she is what I think she is, which is another... Um, oh, Obamacare is the worst thing ever. Let's take all the illegal immigrants and throw them out. I have no interest in in anything relating to her. Um, and hello, I love the uh, the Howl series. I'll make sure to su subscribe to you if I can remember, at, which I probably will after this. I'm not, I'm not going to do this stream for that long. But if she's the same thing as the other... Um, I guess, larger base of Republicans that are in both chambers of Congress, I don't have any interest in seeing her not only get elected, but even run for anything due to the fact that when you continuously um, put people who, instead of being in the middle, are more so to one side than the other, and their positions are unpopular or otherwise not what a majority of people want, you're down to, you know, we're going to see another repeat of, I guess the, you know, you look at um, what happened with Scalise, you look at what happened with Giffords, it's political violence, and that stuff is rooted in an unwillingness to compromise, a refusal to follow democracy, and that's something I, I really think is just, it's bound to happen with more people who push away popular positions. People are going to get tired of not being able to unseat a person electorally because they have more money or because that person is backed by corporations. A large portion of why Trump is uh, being assailed to the point of people calling for him to be impeached is not because he's done something to be impeached, but rather because there is a large chunk of Democrats and they're in that corporate block that know if they run against him again with one of their little establishment candidates, um, like Harris or Booker or Gillibrand, they're going to lose. So they're trying to say, forget democracy, forget people deciding. Let's get them out of here because we know no matter how much dirty paper we throw at this person, they're not going to be able to beat them. And we're going to know that the voters can see through the, uh, the nonsense.
I didn't mean to turn this into another um, tirade about the election in three years, but um, it goes along the lines of we can't win against someone electorally, so let's go and try and force something outside of the voters actually speaking. It undermines our democracy. Um, so in conclusion, I'm disappointed. He was not the greatest senator and definitely, um, you know, I've, I have my criticisms of his policies, but he was more in the middle than a lot of uh, these corporate Republicans, which I can't even think of any that aren't bought out now with the NRA. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.